Hi, I am Prasoon Anand, and I am here to talk about high-performance GPU computing with Ruby. Uh, I'm really glad to be here, and I really thank the RubyCon organizers to, for having me here. Uh, very few people realize that even the modest computers today have uh, very high-powered GPUs that can be used in parallel with the CPUs or in serial with the CPUs to deliver really awesome performance. So uh, in, th in this talk, I would like to talk about two Ruby gems that I have created uh, in the last year. One of them is Arifier gem, and the another is RB CUDA gem. Uh, what these libraries do is that uh, they help you accelerate your uh, code for number crunching or scientific uh, pro programming and uh, uh, gain uh, performance improvements just by adding uh, a few lines of code, maybe four or five uh, per operation. So before we delve into the topic, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I am a SciRuby contributor. Uh, 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 SciRuby also stands for Ruby Science Foundation. Uh, what we do is we create uh, Ruby gems for scientific computing. Uh, I worked as a Google Summer of Code student for uh, Ruby Science Foundation in 2016 and 17. And uh, currently, I'm associated with the Gene Network project. What we do at Gene Network is that we create tools for high-performance genome scans uh, on uh, clusters and GPUs and Teslas. Uh, even Intel Xeon 5s. Uh, recently, I have been uh, awarded uh, Ruby Grant 2017 by Ruby Association to work on RB CUDA gem. Uh, these are the projects that I did. Uh, first is a JRuby port of NMatrix. Uh, NMatrix is a linear algebra library, and I just ported it to JRuby. Then I created RF Fire gem uh, for GSOC 2017, and currently I'm working on RB CUDA. Uh, scientific computing uh, means uh, it's uh, uh, Ruby has been for uh, around for 25 years, but uh, people still don't prefer it as a uh, as a go-to resource for uh, scientific computing or solving their problems or for number crunching. So in the last uh, uh, few years, uh, Ruby Science Foundation and uh, uh, others have created uh, gems for scientific computing. Uh, what we do is we handle very large sets of data for uh, 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 data analysis, uh, uh, machine learning, and all. Uh, currently, uh, SciRuby has the gems like NMatrix, uh, Daru, uh, Nyaplot. Uh, what the NMatrix is for linear algebra, whereas uh, Daru is for data analysis. It's uh, just like uh, pandas in Python. And uh, Nyaplot is a pl plotting library. Also, since Python has a head start, uh, we, we use uh, Python to, uh, for uh, solving uh, certain problems which we can't directly do it in Ruby. So we have uh, gems like pycall.rb that helps you call Python for your, uh, from your Ruby code uh, for uh, computing. So uh, arrays and matrices. For a, any scientific problem, when you have any scientific problem, the data that you have can be a, a, means at the core you need a, an array or a matrix. Uh, these arrays and matrix uh, can, uh, are of huge size, means uh, for, for example, if you have a block data, you have a matrix of 5,000 rows and 5,000 uh, columns, which is the, I can say that it's the least amount. So uh, to handle these large arrays and matrices, you, uh, you need a specialized libraries. For example, nMatrix uh, does, uh, d helps you handle matrices on the CPU. Uh, what it does is that these uh, linear algebra li libraries that need to handle matrices must be memory efficient and need to be fast. Means you, you need fast loops to iterate through the entire elements of the matrix or an array. Uh, moreover, you need to save mem memory because uh, since the, your, your RAM size is limited, you need to handle efficiently so that you, you don't run out of the RAM. But uh, uh, the, as we have BLAST and LEPAC libraries. What, what it does is that uh, BLAST and LEPAC uh, are Fortran libraries that help you uh, do matrix com uh, computation by harnessing the multi-core support of the CPUs. So 
uh, whenever uh, you, you need to do com uh, scientific computing or number crunching in C, uh, you, uh, you need BLAST and, uh, BLAS and LAPAC or Eigen libraries or Intel MKL libraries. So uh, since BLAST and LAPAC are Fortran libraries, uh, we, we have C bindings for it, and uh, N matrix calls these C bindings for uh, 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 linear algebra. Uh, similarly, NUMO is uh, another uh, uh, package that provides N array, which uh, does the same thing. Means N matrix and N array are almost the, uh, provide the same functionalities. So uh, let's move on to GPU computing because uh, GPU compu computing is not easy. Means for a beginner, if you are trying to do, uh, do GPU computing on C, you need to handle pointers. And uh, cur currently, G uh, GPU computing is done using writing kernel codes where you write uh, C, uh, C type of kernel code in uh, .cu file or .cl. Uh, what you do is that you, uh, you uh, when you when you have this kernel files, you uh, compile it and then you inject that code into the GPU hardware, and then you need to uh, handle the pointers uh, that you have created, and uh, and perform operations on it. So CUDA and OpenCL, uh, these are the two platforms that we currently use for uh, uh, GPU computing. While CUDA is limited to NVIDIA hardware and it's a proprietary solution. Uh, it can't run on uh, all the other vendors like from AM, uh, like the GPUs from a AMD or uh, Intel. Whereas uh, OpenCL stands for Open Computing Language and it, it runs on across all GPU hardware regardless of the vendor. And in my experience, I've seen that uh, CUDA has a better performance over OpenCL even on NVIDIA driver, NVIDIA GPUs. So here comes Arifier. Arifier is a um, C library that, uh, that is used for general purpose GPU computing. What it does is that uh, uh, it's, it's an abstraction over an array where you, uh, where you create an uh, array, AF array that's, uh, that's on the GPU device. And, you, and here you don't have to bother about uh, what kind of hardware you are using, whether a GPU which is from NVIDIA or AMD or Intel or uh, 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 what should you use, whether the uh, uh, CUDA is more suited to your needs or OpenCL, it just tries to give you the best performance. And recently, Arifier also supports CPU. For example, in case uh, you don't have an access to a, G, uh, to a nice GPU on your machine, you can just uh, use uh, Arifier, means uh, it will, autom uh, it will autom automatically try to run that code, the same code on the CPU. Also, Arifier has wrappers in Python, Go, uh, Julia, Rust, and uh, what I did was I created the Ruby wrapper for Arifier, and it really makes our work easy. So this is how you create an uh, AF array. Means AF array st stores your array. Means uh, uh, it can be up to uh, four dimensions. Uh, in th in this slide, I sh I show you how to create an AF array of uh, two uh, two dimensions with the row size. Uh, so the highlighted. Uh, uh, Syntax uh, there shows that uh, we have A as an AF array which uh, has a dimension of two, and uh, and each dimension and then uh, and the next argument two comma t two is the uh, size of the uh, size of the array means uh, you have two rows and two columns. Next is the elements one comma two comma three comma four. So after that uh, you uh, when you uh, uh, when you create uh, an uh, a matrix or an AF array using this code, uh, you get the elements as shown below. Uh, this is a column major format. So you, you can see that one, then two, then three, and four. Next is uh, we try to add this, uh, uh, add, add and the array A to itself and store it in B. Uh, uh, this is the code uh, uh, that shows it. So it's uh, uh, pretty easy means one comma two comma three uh, three comma four added to itself gives you two comma four comma six comma eight. Next is the matrix multiplication. If someone is here is familiar with uh, data science or means uh, you, uh, we use matrix multiplication most of the time in our code for number crunching. Means here we have uh, I have created two arrays called left and right. Uh, using, and uh, one of the arrays is of dimension three comma three while the while the other is uh, three comma two. Next is uh, we do matrix multi multiplication as simple as this. 
So how we implemented it means uh, 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 what we do is I create a, uh, an AF struct uh, type with, uh, called AF array. And then uh, in, the, in the next highlight, highlighted line of code, I just cast these uh, values from the Ruby VM I got into from a num to a double data type. Next is that I create an AF, uh, AF array using AF create array API uh, provided by Arrayfire. And it just uh, copies the host array data into uh, the uh, GPU data. Means in GPU computing, you, you just can't uh, uh, get access to your data directly. Means when you create a data, uh, when you create an, uh, you initially create an array on the host device that is a CPU, then copy that, uh, that array from the CPU to the GPU. And then, uh, you, uh, then on the GPU, you, you pass the kernel code that interacts with that array. And when you get the final result, you, you then just copy that data back from GPU to the CPU. But uh, in, this, in the case of ArrayFi, you don't have to worry about that because it just uh, abstracts that and uh, uh, makes it as simple as this, uh, where, you, where you created an AF array. And in, in, the, in this, in the next example, what I do is that I just uh, get that pointer and I do a matrix multiplication of it. For example, uh, in the first line of first highlighted line, we have created an AF struct left. Then uh, we also created an AF struct uh, result, and we allocated the device memory, uh, the, the memory to it. And uh, next, we call the AF matmal API. What is does uh, does is that it takes the device pointer of uh, left and right, and then uh, does multiplication of it, uh, multiplication, and and then stores it into the result. So these are the blast functionalities and the LAPAC functionalities. Uh, blast functionalities are mat matrix multiplication and transpose, whereas uh, whereas the pack functionalities are determinant calculation, inverse calculation, uh, uh, calculating the uh, Frobenius norm, and then uh, QR factorization, Cholesky factorization, SVD factorization, and lower upper factorization. Arrayfire also provides you with APIs for calculating mean, median, or variance along different dimensions of your uh, matrix. Uh, and it, uh, these are provided by the mean, uh, AF mean, AF median, and AF variance. Uh, next, uh, let's come to the benchmarks. Means, uh, uh, if I means, uh, how is this uh, really uh, provides you high performance? How it accelerates your code? Uh, so I uh, ran the benchmarks on an AMD FX 8350 processor and NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti GPU, which is of the uh, Maxwell architecture. And uh, the recent one is Pascal, but uh, uh, yeah, means it's, uh, it's a decent GPU, and uh, we use double D-type and with the CUDA backend. So for uh, calculating the matrix determinant, it takes around, uh, uh, means uh, uh, in this graph, we, uh, on the x-axis, we have the number of elements in a matrix. Whereas on the y-axis, we have the uh, computation time that it took for us to uh, do that operation. For, uh, so the, uh, the, high, uh, the lower is the computation time, the better is the performance. So uh, we are comparing N-matrix LAPAC Ruby, N-matrix JRuby, and Arrayfire. Uh, N-matrix uh, JRuby is what I created, uh, means uh, for, uh, which is a JRuby port of N-matrix. And matrix Ruby LAPAC uses LAPAC for uh, uh, matrix calculation. So in this case, uh, N matrix LAPAC Ruby takes around uh, 12 seconds for uh, uh, determinant calculation, whereas Arrayfire takes around two seconds. So we have an improvement of 10x. Means uh, it's uh, Arrayfire is faster than uh, N matrix LAPAC by 10 times. So yeah, <laughs> uh, we did uh, nice job. But Similar goes the case for matrix LU factorization. Uh, means uh, when you do an LU factorization, uh, you get uh, the next step is that you can calculate the uh, determinant from the diag diagonal element. So the, this benchmark is ex exactly the same as uh, matrix determinant calculation. So for matrix addition, we have uh, this benchmark, means uh, n matrix uh, Ruby text around six seconds, whereas RFI takes around 0 0.0004 seconds, means uh, 400 microseconds. So uh, the performance impro improvement is 10,000 X. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, matrix subtraction is similar as uh, matrix addition because uh, both are element-wise operations. Uh, instead of just uh, adding the two elements, I'm just subtract subtracting it. So uh, the exact same uh, figures. Now comes matrix multiplication. Means uh, at the crux of any uh, scientific computing code, we have matrix multiplication. Means we call it uh, a lot of times. And in this case, uh, n matrix uh, uh, means uh, n matrix Ruby has uh, uh, two ways how you can call this uh, blast routine for matrix multiplication. You can either use n matrix blast Ruby or n matrix Ruby. So n matrix blast Ruby is faster uh, because it's uh, it uses Fortran, whereas n matrix Ruby runs C code. So in this case, n matrix blast Ruby takes around 31 seconds, whereas array fire takes 0 0.00062 seconds. So 6, uh, 62, 620 microseconds. So the performance imp improvement is 100,000 X. Oh. <laughs> So uh, coming to all this means uh, when you use RFI, you don't have to worry about what kind of GPU hardware you are using. Means uh, you just write, you write your code without worrying about whether you are, uh, we are, you are going to run that code on a CUDA device, a CUDA platform, or an OpenCL platform, or an NVIDIA GPU, or an AMD GPU. It just tries to give you the best performance out of it. Means uh, you can also tune it according to yourself. Uh, next, uh, since NVIDIA has a better performance on uh, GPU devices, uh, so what I did was, uh, uh, since RFI is an abstraction, I tried to uh, get uh, to create something that, that would be even closer to the GPU hardware. So uh, for that, I created another project called RBCUDA. Means it runs only on NVIDIA devices. So. Uh, so uh, when you are you, since ar for RFI it was very easy because uh, we didn't we didn't have to worry about uh, transferring the data from the uh, CPU to the GPU or vice versa. Uh, here we need to handle everything. Means uh, we need to take care of how we, how how you have created the GPU array pointer, and then how we um, how we copy it from the CPU to GPU and uh, see that if uh, we ha we have the pointer with uh, which is not garbage collected and all. So uh, what we do is we created a generic po pointer that is void star, means uh, it just uh, stores the, uh, the device array location uh, in, the, uh, in, the v in the VM. And then you copy memory from CPU to GPU. And yes, it, is, it has been interfaced with N matrix and N array. Means you just add, a, uh, add one line of code that uh, A is equal to N matrix uh, has two GPU, and the code will, and you, and you, you'll get a GPU pointer. Similarly, you, uh, and, uh, we can do it with N array, but it's under development right now. So this is an example of a kernel code. So uh, when you uh, uh, when you have uh, created uh, your program and uh, uh, you can you and you th you think that you can create more optimizations on it, uh, you might be interested in running your custom kernel code on the uh, on the GPUs. So RBCUDA helps you do that, means uh, you couldn't directly uh, run your custom kernels on the GPU using RFR. But yes, with RBCUDA, we, we have created a bridge that can help you run your custom kernel on the GPUs. So this is how a kernel code looks like, means uh, we have a block idx.x, means it just refers to an, uh, to an element in the blocks. And we, when we call this, uh, we have two arrays in A, in star A and star B. And we call, uh, we add these two arrays and uh, we store it in C. And so what what we do here is that we uh, our, what RBCUDA is different from uh, running this CUDA code uh, kernels directly on the C is that you can uh, run run this kernel code uh, on fly means uh, uh, you are running your you you are running your code in pry and you can just inject this kernel code. So what what I do is that I take this kernel code. I store it in a temp file, and then I compile it using NVIDIA CUDA compiler. And then, uh, and, and I get, as a result, I get a .ptx file, uh, which, is, uh, which, can be, which can be run on a GPU, uh, NVIDIA GPU. So this is the code, means uh, it's uh, tough to understand, but yes. So also, uh, the, uh, running a custom kernel code was already done by another uh, Ruby gem called SGC Ruby CUDA, but uh, uh, what it lacked was we, uh, we, it didn't provide the solutions for other libraries, like uh, we, it didn't have support for CU Blast libraries, CU Solver, and CU Rand. 
So in in uh, in RB Coda, we will have support for all these. Means uh, we will have uh, uh, ready-made routines for uh, BLAST and uh, LEPAC. Means you can do matrix multiplication and uh, even matrix decomposition. And we, uh, you can also create random numbers using uh, Mersenne Twister and other engines, random engines. So these are the benchmarks. Uh, means uh, again, the benchmarks were, pro uh, were done on this AMD FX 8350 octa core processor, uh, GTX 750 uh, 50 Ti GPU, and double D type. So for matrix multiplication, you can see that the lowest line RB CUDA is even faster. Means uh, uh, N matrix uh, Blast Ruby takes you around uh, 31 seconds. Uh, RFI takes you around 0 0.0006 seconds. Whereas RB CUDA takes you 0 0.00004 seconds. So we have a performance improvement of 1 million times. <coughs> so, <laughs> so here comes uh, the future work. Means uh, RFIR uh, being a GPU GPU library, means a general purpose GPU computing library provides you uh, ready made routines for uh, image processing and uh, uh, it also helps you uh, write classifiers and all for machine learning. So uh, I'll be working uh, in, on uh, creating these APIs and even indexers. And uh, currently only double data type is supported. So in the future we are going to have uh, support for com complex uh, floats, etc. Now RB CUDA is under active development. Uh, it, uh, it's being uh, uh, currently funded by Ruby Association. Uh, contributions are, uh, are welcome. Uh, you can ch uh, check out these repos. And uh, benchmark code can be found on uh, RFI, means github.com slash prasoonanand slash RFI RB benchmarks. So uh, you can try it on your machine. Since I, uh, I did the, uh, uh, I, I ran these benchmarks on a Maxwell architecture that is 750 Ti GPUs. Uh, when, I, uh, when you run it on Pas uh, Pascal GPUs that is 1050, uh, uh, NVIDIA 1050 series, uh, you, uh, you can uh, expect a performance of even 10 times more. Now, acknowledgments. Uh, I would like to thank my G uh, Google Summer of Code mentor, uh, Piotr Prince. Uh, he is involved with BioRuby project and uh, uh, other projects in D and Scala. And next is uh, Pradeep Garigipati. He is uh, a core contributor of Arrayfire. Uh, uh, also, I'd like to thank, uh, thank uh, Sai Ruby, Google Summer of Code, and Ruby Association for uh, helping me continue my work in the field of open source. Uh, thank you.